sweet cats on. Yes, we are ready to do a little bit of Dominican Republic, a place we have never been. Now, we got up pretty early this morning. <laughs> Another early morning. So generally, we're not early goers to the airport. Would you agree? Yeah, we like to pick kind of a late morning or early afternoon flight so that we are not stressed to the morning of a flight. But generally, because we don't get there super early. However, in this situation, we are super glad we got here almost three out, a little more than three hours early. We laid it in line for about an hour to actually get checked into our flight. To the international flights take a bit longer, so we allowed a little extra time, and it worked out well because we had time to eat before we got on our flight this morning. And you know, we generally don't fly Frontier. It's the first time as a family flying Frontier. The process is a little bit different than maybe we'd be used to with like Delta and things like that. But it was smooth, right? It's just the check-in process, I think, took a little bit longer. We're headed to the Caribbean. We told you the kids' first time going to the Caribbean was Nassau, Bahamas, just a few days ago, but it was for one day. So we are so excited to get back to the beautiful Caribbean waters of the Dominican Republic. First time for all of us. None of us have been there. We're excited too because we have a little connection there. As you know, cute Maddie's there on her mission. We've been hearing from her every Monday in her emails about all the things Dominican Republic. So we asked her to tell us all her favorite foods and things to do there. And if you missed this in the last video, we are actually not going to be able to see her while we are there. We are unfortunately on the complete other side of the island. So we're just going to blow her kisses while we are there and be thinking of her. We have arrived here in beautiful, beautiful Punta Cana. I tell you what, it must be spring break because the airport was slammed. Slammed. Holy However, cow. some incredibly kind airport employee noticed Sweet Landon walking, and yes. we don't generally utilize wheelchairs, so he wasn't in a wheelchair. Just walking, and he was pushing some other, you know, person in a wheelchair, and just noticed Landon and said, "Hey, you follow me." And we skipped the customs line. It, it probably saved us 45 minutes. And then same thing on the exit out to the airport, another long line. Again, we just followed through and they took us through, you know, just a different line. I just thought it was so sweet that he like went out of his way to notice that we could use some extra help. I thought that was so nice. Yeah, it was very, very kind of him actually. So we're now in our transport headed to our beautiful resort, which we are so excited about. Ava, what is the first thing you're gonna do when you get there? Swim in the pool. Pool. Pool? What about us? Nap. <laughs> Not really, you kidding me? You, kidding? you can't find us napping. I'm jumping in the pool, baby. <laughs> Okay, I might be napping. <laughs> Not there yet, but early mornings are catching up to us, that's for sure. Not to you, apparently. You just have to sleep on the plane. Vamos! Vamos, drama! Vamos, muchachos! Vámonos a la playa. Vamos pa la playa, pa curarte el alma. Vamos a la playa. Are we about to have a ton of fun? Yeah. Yes, indeed we are. You guys, this place is like a city. It's its own little city. We're right now driving on our golf cart to our room. We're passing grocery stores. We're passing theaters. There's a water park. Water park in the pool, in the fresco restaurante bar. There you go. You hear that, guys? In the fresco, in the ceviche number one. Ceviche number one. Honestly, I don't think we'll ever leave this resort. We are here for the next seven days. Yeah.
What? Whoa. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Got ourselves a bit. Oh, 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 guys. Uh oh. Open it up. No way. We have a pool out. Are you cheesing me? What? Are you guys kidding me? Outside of our room. Guys, look at this. This is insane. Okay, you guys, we have to give you an exclusive room tour here of this incredible resort in Punta Cana. We are staying at the Nickelodeon Resort in Punta Cana. This place, we've heard about it for a long time now. We've always wanted to stay here. We cannot wait. And it's everything we thought it would be when we first pulled in to the entrance. It's paradise. I mean, it's literally, like I said earlier, it's like a city in and of itself with all the amenities you could possibly imagine. We just got to our room. We want to give you a quick tour of the rooms that we're going to be staying in over here for the next week. Guys, this is what it looks like to travel with six. First of all, everything is controlled. This is your key card. Might spoil my tan a little bit, but this is our key card for each of the rooms. So immediately as you walk in, you have yourself a beautiful bathroom with a standalone tub, two sink vanity, walk-in shower, Gorgeous glass window. And we got a, yeah, yeah, you can't tell. That is a nice, beautiful glass window into the master bedroom area. Got nice, compact closet space, restroom in there. I actually love when they have a place to put all of your luggage and unpack for the week. Plenty of room, lots of drawers. So as you come out here, we've got ourselves the main sleeping area. They've already rolled out that bed. That actually is a couch, but they've rolled that out for already for this evening. Great little design, obviously very Nickelodeon designed. Love the orange, nice king bed. Okay, we've got ourselves a little wet bar over here, TV, a bar over here for food. Now this is an all-inclusive resort. What makes this room so absolutely incredible is the fact that it walks out to our very own pool. Check this out. Our very own hangout patio. We've got ourselves a nice little lounge. Lando, what's up? And we've got our own little pool to walk out. Ooh, nice and cool. So you can see the ocean also from right here. All these pools connect all the way up. There's the ocean right there. We're gonna go explore that in the next little bit. Guys, as I was saying, you walk down this beautiful pool to which Land and Ava are currently enjoying oh, all the way over to the neighbors. Guys, when we look for places to come to in the Dominican Republic, obviously Punta Cana is kind of like, like the premier destination in the DR. So all-inclusive resorts tend to have this reputation, right? Where the food maybe isn't very good, things like that. So as we look through all of the options, the Nickelodeon Resort obviously had its draw given just the kid theme of it all. But more than anything, the reviews based upon the food alone is what actually sealed the deal for us. This is a five-star gourmet all-inclusive resort and the food reviews were unbelievable. So we're actually heading out to one of many different restaurants they have. All of them are themed and just very, very kid-friendly. Anyway, so now we're gonna experience the food for ourselves and we'll report back here shortly. <laughs> So 
So we're in a place called Gourmet Village right now. And in Gourmet Village, there are 10 plus different restaurants here. You can try from Asian food to Italian food to good old fashioned cheeseburgers. So I think this selection this evening with- uh, All of them. With little, all of them. <laughs> really, because it's all inclusive, you can. And we're so hungry. I know, we have not eaten honestly since, since breakfast. breakfast. So I think we've decided on the burger place. So who's hungry for burgers? Dominican style. So they have what's called the machete burger. Machete is not responsible for nobody but machete. Yes. Which is a kilo burger. Now, we don't really go off of that measurement system, so we're really unclear what this burger is going to look like. However, we've seen a couple come out, and these things are Massive. monstrous. Hey, Landexa, how many pounds are in a kilo? I don't know. Landexa. Here it comes. Oh, my goodness. Now that is a burger, you guys. It's one of the biggest burgers I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Oh, well, guys, the sheer size of this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, that's a burger. How are we going to rate that burger, Lando? Oh, it was really good. And the one that ash in it was one of the biggest burgers I've ever seen. <laughs> guys, that machete burger, 2.25 pounds. That is a big, big burger burger. All right, we just got out of the pool right outside our room here. We're going to go to bed. Guys, we could not be more excited to explore this beautiful Nickelodeon Resort in Punta Cana. Tomorrow is going to be a day full of excitement. We're going to go visit Aqua Nick, which is the water park here in Punta Cana, right across the street that's attached to the Nickelodeon Hotel. We are super excited. The kids are thrilled to just be able to relax, hang out here. Again, this place has all the amenities, the restaurants, everything we kind of need. No need to really go outside the resort, explore too much. So be sure to come back tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Also check out Lindsay's Instagram. Stories are going up there live as we speak. Go check that out. Lindsay Bingham at Our Life in Holland. Guys, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow. I mean, the kids went to bed around what nine? Woke up nine around nine. That's how tired they were. What kids fall asleep at nine o'clock? Really tired kids. Much needed rest. However, we woke up to the most beautiful ocean breeze. Oh my gosh, it is paradise. It is paradise. The ocean is so beautiful. This resort is incredible. We haven't even seen a fraction of it yet. We're really excited to show you guys more of it today. But right now, we're headed to a character breakfast. But we're gonna meet Dora. We're gonna meet Paw Patrol. We're gonna meet SpongeBob. All right, Pinhead. Your time is up. Who you call a pinhead? And we're gonna have a delicious breakfast buffet. Hey guys, yes, I'm rocking my pineapple <laughs> jam jams again. How perfect is this though for this resort? For SpongeBob, pineapple. How, how perfect is it for the Caribbean in general? I was gonna say, I mean, he could wear this every day and he would keep getting comments every single day. <laughs>
are starting off our morning here at a beautiful Zest restaurant at the Nickelodeon Resort where they have an incredible breakfast buffet spread. We are about to partake of. Now guys, this breakfast looks amazing. We're talking Nutella French toast. We're talking a plantain like casserole. All the fruit and exotic fruit you can imagine. Sausage, bacon, eggs, omelets, pastries. Everything. The fruit alone, I'm dying over. Fresh yogurts. I got what I love most about the Caribbean and islands like this are the juices. They have incredible juices. Parks, they've got lazy rivers. I think I just got the greatest compliment I've gotten in my life. A guy just stopped me and says, hey, are you Rob Gronkowski from the Bucks? And I was like, oh, bro. First of all, if you only saw my legs, no, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, greatest compliment I think I've ever received in my life. No, I am not him. I wish maybe, at times, I wish I was a professional NFL player and if I was gonna be one, yeah, sure, I'd choose him. No, Gronk's pretty shredded. Turn doesn't agree that his dad looks like Gronk.
Okay, so we just got back from Aqua Nick. Took a little bit of a break because we thought, let's head back over to the beach and to the main pool. The main pool here has got just a bunch of different amenities. The kids were playing a little bit of water polo earlier. There's sand volleyball. Anyway, so we're gonna go back to Aqua Nick tomorrow. Enjoy that a little bit more because we just barely explored it. So we're gonna head to lunch. We're gonna stop at one of the buffets, eat some lunch, and then afterwards, we're gonna head to the beach. Volleyball. Lindsay and Lando on their way down to the beach. Oh, trying to catch some waves here in beautiful Punta Cana. I think these are more wind waves than they are actually. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? I got one. Oh, it is just too shallow. <laughs> Cut it off. What's up, dude? What's up? You wanna go to the ocean with me? Yeah. Yeah? Here, follow me. You ready? ready? No, we're going farther. Ready. Trust me. Here comes the wave. Oh. Hey, your twin brother's behind you. Here we go. We're in and out. No, we're not. We're farther. Farther. Trust your dad. Trust your dad. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Heads up. <laughs>
All right, you guys, we are done with the pool just for today. We had some beach time, didn't we, Peanut? Yes. The kids always tend to find friends to hang out with wherever we go. Oh, yeah. They always find somebody to team up with. In fact, Turin just jumped in to some beach volleyball and water polo today, and he just jumped right in playing with a bunch of people we've never met before. I love that about him. We met this amazing family from Canada who actually, I felt like had a pretty similar story in terms of our life in Holland, if you will, and they shared that with us. That was pretty cool Super to meet them. Cool. Water polo was awesome. Me and Turn were on the same team too. And did you win? Yes, we did. I, I almost was lost actually. I was on the team too, but. You were? How was it? It was fun. So here's the plan this evening. We're gonna try yet another wonderful restaurant. I think we are doing burgers? either Italian. <laughs> we burgers, burgers, burgers last night. Yeah, I, either okay. Italian or Asian, that's my vote. I mostly want Anyone food. have a preference, Italian or Asian? Italian. Yeah. So Italian. Once again, they have 10 plus beautiful restaurants here. We're gonna go try a little bit more this evening, but first, we gotta shout out the fact that Ashley and I wear Imagine shirts. This used to be Turin's shirt. I'll be honest, he never really wore it one, with me once. So now that it fits Ashton, we are twinners this evening, my friend, right here. Yep. Yeah, so let's go eat some dinner. You get ready? Yeah. Twitter. Eva, look, that's a pig head. That's the head of a pig. <laughs> From beautiful Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Justin and I are both starting our morning with a workout in different places. I went over to their gym. They have a beautiful fitness center right next to their spa. Did a little workout and Justin is working out at the beach. Can't think of a more beautiful place for a run. So headed back to the room to get our suits on and make a plan for what fun we're gonna have here at the resort today. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. I actually already said good morning on my way to the gym. Oh, you gym. did? So as you guys saw earlier, Lizzie and I divided and conquered this morning. She did her workout. <laughs> Gosh. If you're wondering why we're laughing, we've actually diagnosed Turn with close talking syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> he talks like this. Hey, so later, I just thought it'd be really fun if we were to go to the beach. Like and <laughs> so he's been diagnosed with what we call close talking syndrome. <laughs> it's a parental diagnosis, <laughs> but that's why we're laughing. He just wants to be really close to us. I love that about Oh him. my goodness. However, you did see this morning that we woke up. We got ourselves a nice little workout in separately. I ran along the beautiful beach. Oh, Lindsay enjoyed the gym. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, how is the gym here? Awesome. Good? I already told him that, yeah. Okay. It's off site. Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm missing it. I'll say that. I'll have to go back and watch the video. <laughs> I slept twice till nine. Oh. I we did sleep myself. in. We have been getting some good sleep here in the DR. So we slept in a little bit this morning. After the jog, we jumped in the pool right outside our room, which has been really nice to have. Very convenient. Kids can play, cool off a little bit in there. And then this morning, we went to one of the many restaurants we have. Who said knocking at the door? I mentioned that before. We went to a place called Sugar Cane, which is think, quite delicious. I think this one's the main buffet. Yes. And it was tons really, really good. Tons of fresh juices, yeah. tons of fresh fruit, pancakes, they had an omelet station, an eggs benedict station, tons of options. And all of the buffets, they have things that are local or authentic to the Dominican Republic. So it's fun to try things we've never tried before. Yeah, so, so far, reviews on the red food here, top notch. Really, it's quite good. Again, some all inclusives, you can really say that about. This one really is delicious. It's no complaints whatsoever. It's clean, it's well organized, tons of variety. So depending on whatever your preferences are, they do have a lot of choices. So it's been really good. So eight there, now the plan is to go enjoy a pool for the next little bit and then we actually are going to head over to Aqua Nick. They do something really cool here where you get slimed. I don't know how this works but I have a feeling I'm going to get slimed any second. Yep. Buy a slime machine. 
which the kids are super excited to get done. I'm excited to get done. We're gonna convince this lady to get it done over here. <laughs> we're gonna head over to Aquanick here in the next little bit, but for now we're gonna enjoy the beach, the pool, and just relax. If it's on, hit right here. Is this on? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, have you guys seen Ava? Hey, Ava. Where'd, Where'd she Ava? go? <laughs> Hi, guys. What the heck did you throw out of the sky? It's raining princesses out of the sky. <laughs> so, this is our new ride. We bought a golf cart. <laughs> Traded in the minivan. Has a lot more rows actually. One, two, three, four, five. Five rows, one faces backwards. Kind of gives me like. Gosh, this fits way more than our minivan. Think about it. Kind of gives me like childhood memories of the station wagon. It had a back row that faced backwards. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 14 people. Yeah, this place is big enough. It really does just buy a golf cart. You could walk the whole thing. It would just take far too long. So we are actually headed over to Aqua Nick now. We are going to get slimed at 2 p.m. It's something that's kind of famous here at Nick Little Resort in Punta Cana. We're going to get slimed here. Stop squirting slime! In the next 25 minutes. And honestly, I think the kids are super stoked. I'm personally super stoked. We're just kind of hoping it doesn't ruin our swimming suits. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the slime machine. We sit, behold the slime machine. Slime bucket. Are you ready to get slimed, dude? No. <laughs> We're about to get slimed as a family. You wanna get slimed? Yeah, let's do it. So let's get them green. Up to five. Well, they say it's a rite of passage to be slimed here at Nickelodeon. Well, y'all, we have done it. it. We've experienced sliming. <laughs> Comes right out of your clothes, too, actually. Yeah, we jumped right in the pool and it came right off. Ava looked down at her swimming suit and she's like, Mom! Because it was yellow and it turned green immediately. <laughs> it was completely green. So, guys, we're going to hang out here at Aqua Nick. We didn't get a chance to yesterday, so we're going to hang out here for the rest of the day, order some poolside food, and just relax. It's a beautiful water park here in our resort. We've got a lazy river, we've got a water slide, we've got music playing, we've got beach chairs. We are in the lazy river. We're just hanging out, so yeah, we're all connected. We're just having some awesome fun. Ready, set, go. Get your egging me on. I can't be lazy in a lazy river, apparently. Ashton Turner calling me out. You're not fun, Dad. You don't love us, Dad. Ashley, I do love you. I do. <laughs> That's why I'm going to do this. Hi. Let's get turbo right here, shall we? I was a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan. Huge. For Christmas, that's all I'd ask for. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, lo and behold, we have Leonardo and Donatello. Way to be stealthy, Raph. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they heard you over in Joyzy. Give me a hand.
All right, guys, we have dressed up in our finest to go over here back to Aquanick, actually, for what they call the orange carpet event. Yes, that's right. Not a red carpet event, but an orange carpet event. So pending whether this thing may or may not be canceled, we don't know. However, we're feeling like some celebrities here. We walked along the orange carpet. We just took a picture in front of the Nickelodeon sign. They've got a nice spread of food all laid out for us. So again, pending weather, we'll see if we're going to we're gonna party tonight or not. They've got a big event, a show, everything. So we got a fun night ahead of us. We just got a little bit of rainy weather right now, but we know in tropical places like this that if it rains, it's usually for about 20 minutes and then it's over. But it'll be over soon. So hopefully the rain will stop and we'll get to have our orange carpet event today. What'd you get? A butterfly. A butterfly. Let me see. Ooh. High fives. Butterfly. So what you're hearing is them canceling our event due to rain. Christmas is canceled. Charles ruined it. So you heard it. The rain did not subside. So we are headed back now to go to dinner at wherever we want, actually. We're going to eat dinner here. What are you guys feeling for dinner? Walk, walk. Walk, walk. Nano, you want to go a little Asian? Yes. A little Asian cuisine from the Dominican Republic. Ash, what are you feeling? I don't know, actually. Ava, what are you feeling? Okay. Oh, hey, you know what, though? This whole thing was worth it because she got her face painted. So would you say hashtag worth it. Hashtag worth it. I would say that tonight, this was probably our favorite restaurant. Yes, it was good. The Italian was really good. Yeah, it was really good. You know, we had pizzas, pasta. Yeah. Private boopy. Pretty huge calamari. spread. Calamari. We actually ordered Salad. quite a few calamari. But I would say that tonight's spread was probably one of our favorites. We were just tired too, you know? The fact that they canceled that event wasn't the worst thing in the world because we're just so tired. I just think it's those long days in the sun, having fun that just take it out of us. By the end of the day, we are ready for bed. However, the kids have just jumped in the pool. They're doing a little nighttime evening swim, a nighttime swim tonight. This pool outside our room is so so fun. So fun, so convenient. But guys, we're gonna hit the hay or we're gonna go jump in the pool. Either way, we're gonna <laughs> sign off, say goodbye to you guys tonight. Be sure to come back tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Guys, this is what it looks like when you're gone for two weeks on vacation. And uh, well, you only pack for maybe a week, roughly. <laughs> Thinking you could find some washer and dryers. And you have a wife and a woman who just is dedicated to making sure your kids look clean and prepared and put together while on vacation. This is the first, for sure. Excuse me, Maytag, can you actually put this on a high spin cycle? You must be at least this tall to use washing machine. Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Today is Sunday, and we're just hanging out and going to breakfast, so yeah. Hey, we're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> I'm in my jammies. <laughs> I'm in my Spanish. Vamos a la playa. Vamos a la playa. Good morning, boys. Good morning. We would call this the breakfast of champions here, wouldn't we, Miss Ava? Yeah. yeah. Breakfast of champions over here. We've got ourselves uh, essential food group donuts, waffles with Nutella, cupcakes. Mom is not gonna like this plate. Where did these devil donuts come from? We have brought Ava over here to Club Nick. Now, Club Nick is a kids club, ages from four to 12. Every single day, they have a schedule that they put out as a hotel, all daily activities. And a lot of those activities are geared towards children, specifically here at Club Nick. There is a drawing class at 10.30 that Ava was just dying to go to. As you guys know, Ava absolutely loves drawing. If you saw our Christmas videos, you saw that she got a little drawing light board, so she loves drawing. So when she heard about a drawing class at 10.30, we had to come over here and check out Club Nick. So we've just checked her in over here. It's over at Aqua Nick. We're gonna hang out here for the next little bit and then we'll probably go hit up the pool and the beach here a little bit more today, but we had to have Ava go experience Club Nick. 
Do you love this place? Yeah? I think we need new place. Okay. I've got moves for days. All right, well, I just wanted to go pick up Ava here at Club Nick <laughs> and just want to leave. So I walked all the way over here only to turn back around because she wants to stay a little bit longer. It's actually really cool. They've got very uh, good security set up. Feel safe to leave your kids there. A gate there to lock. No adults in. You can't check out anyone's kid, obviously, right? You have to have room number, phone number, first name, last name, keyword. Anyway, they, they, make, they do a good job. Anyway, so headed back now. She said, uno la mas. I said, okay, stop again. We're going to be back in an hour. Meantime, I'm walking back. Several song-filled hours later. All right, guys, we picked her up. How was Club Nick? Fun. Fun? Show us what you did. Wow. Is that an A for Ava? How do they say Ava in Spanish? Ava. Ava. Ava is muy bonita. See? You know what that means? It means Ava's really beautiful. She's such a beautiful little girl, huh? <laughs> All right, so the plan now is head over to the pool, head over to the beach, get some cool pictures. You guys know Lindsay, she loves the pictures. But first, we're gonna stop by the lobby because we actually wanna go. There are two different islands here that one is known for its beaches. It's called Sanoa, La Isla Sanoa. The other one is Catalina. We're gonna do Catalina because it has better snorkeling. The beaches are similar. However, the snorkeling on Sanoa is not as good, but the beaches are breathtaking. We're gonna try to do the one that has a little bit of both. So we're gonna go sign up for a tour and then we're gonna head to the pool. It actually connects to our room. I don't think anyone knew that until we walked over here. The right. whole pool wraps around this entire building right here. We could have gotten to lunch by water today. <laughs> so there's a little swim up bar where you can go order a virgin pina colada. If you like pina colada. Or we have a full restaurant right here. They've got them all over the place. So today we're trying one called Fresco. We've got ceviche. It's one of our favorites. It is our favorite. And I feel like it's pretty safe bet to get ceviche in a place like this because it's coming straight from the ocean 10 yards away. And then they've got like mango in it, which is also right grown right here. And that's one of my favorite part. I keep saying that. The local fruit here, so good. So good. Tropical fruit. 
Yeah. He's gonna order a spray. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> my water does jump. Don't copy me anymore. Don't copy me anymore. Stop copying or I'll punch you in the head. Stop copying or I'll punch you in the head. Stop copying me. I'm an ugly dork. Stop copying me. I'm an ugly dork. You're an ugly dork? You're an ugly dork? I'm an ugly dork and nobody loves me. I'm an ugly dork and nobody loves me. <laughs> I'm gonna give my drink to dad. I'm gonna give my drink to dad. That's so nice of you. <laughs> Hello, peanut. Hello. My peanut eat the pina colada. My pants are I'm gonna give my drink to dad again. I wanna give my drink to dad again. <laughs> no, that's so nice of you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. No, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Mm, so generous. So generous. <laughs> playing water polo. We got Lando. Hi here guys. What's up? What's up? And we got me and mom. He's actually right behind the camera here walking towards us. Guys, we're just gonna walk along the beach here for the next little bit. Enjoy the beauties of Punta Cana. Some of the most beautiful beaches, they say in the Caribbean, are here in the Dominican Republic. Ava's been drawn in the sand over here. What do we have? A heart that says Justin and Lindsay. <laughs> Failed out early. Why'd you fail? I did a side lift. Do it again. Do it real fast. Go head back. Straight back. Stand You okay? You okay, Ava? <laughs> The best one yet. Who are you calling Butterfingers? Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? I think this coffee game's kind of dumb. I think this coffee game's kind of dumb. Why are you guys pulling your shorts up? Why, Why are you pulling your shorts up? <laughs> because I'm stupid. Because you want to be like your dad? Because you want to be, be like, like your dad? dad? You guys want to be like me? You guys, you guys don't want to be, want to be like, like you? I want to be like my dad. I, I don't want to be, be like my dad. dad. <laughs> oh, I'm tripping. Oop, I'm oh, tripping. I'm tripping. I want to be like my dad. Just I don't want to be like my dad. I do not want to be like my dad. I want to be like my dad. I want to be like my dad. I don't 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 want to be like my dad. I want to be like my dad. Another day, another migraine. Oh, what do I say? Oh, what do I say? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 late dinner tonight so we are all a little bit sleepy ready for bed but we're traveling a very long way for dinner tonight we're traveling to outer space outer space outer space why now guys <laughs> all of these restaurants again I think we mentioned are all inclusive yeah. that being said some of them require reservations we are actually eating tonight at what's called space walker which is one of the restaurants require reservations and the only reservation we could get was, was at 9 30 was on mars this was a very long long time away so we're eating dinner this evening at 9 30. so we're headed over to space walker it's been a long day as you can see Miss Ava is suckered out and tired. She actually was almost asleep as we left. The boys never seem to stop, though, let's be honest. They seem like they're always just going Lennon and going got in and the shower going. for dinner. Next thing we know, he's back in the pool. Actually, I didn't tell you this. Not only did he get in the pool, he actually got dressed in his regular pants, took his shirt off, and jumped into the pool with his pants on. Oh, cool. Oh, that was 
Perfect. <laughs> so, kids are not tired. Hey, we're gonna go eat a space walker. Tomorrow we actually have an early morning because we've got a really cool something in store for the rest of the family we're and for you guys. Adventure. We're going on a little bit of adventure tomorrow. We're going off the resort for the first time, actually. We're going to go see a little bit more of the Dominican Republic. So, before we fall asleep, we're gonna go fill our bellies. Outer space, why not? All right, you guys, we <laughs> just got done with dinner in space. It's Pretty darn good. good. We missed out on our dessert, which Ashley wanted. Sadly. So um, bad. There was only one more left. <laughs> but there was only one more left, which she gave the table behind us. Bunch of chumps. Flipping aliens, man. <laughs> what do they know? Ashley loves chocolate. I know. Yeah, my, we waited my favorite like, flavor is chocolate. We <laughs> waited for like 20 minutes for it, and then he came back, and he was like, there's no more left. We were like, oh, that'd be good to know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, subscribe to our channel. Well, not yet. <laughs> 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 Don't do that I just yet. Us. Before you subscribe to our channel, we should tell you that we are on some adventures tomorrow for the next two days in a row. Yeah. And I don't even know if you kids know what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow is the like skate park, park thing, right? Yes. Skate park. So yeah. well, you just heard it. You're going to find out what it is tomorrow. But the next two days, we've got something very exciting planned. So now what should they do, Lando? Subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bells, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Chills, literal chills. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. What up? What up? Welcome back. Ava, come over here, Henny. Can you say welcome back? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Guys, we are up a little bit earlier this morning than usual in our Dominican Republic vacation so far. However, we come to you live today from... Skate Park. Skate Park, you guys. Woo! Can't escape the skate. A place we have never been. We looked it up online before we came. We thought we have to come here. This place has so many activities to do. Our goal is to do them all. This is not on the water, like not on the ocean. It's more kind of a rainforest location where they have zip lines. They have cenotes which are like underground cave water caves. They've got water zip lines. They have an animal park with monkeys and iguanas. They have caves. I think what's so cool about this park in particular is the natural landscape. The, the nat so pretty. Yeah, the cenote and the cave. Those are things that were just here. And they kind of, it seems sounds like they built the park around it. Yeah, I think they just built the park around it. So it honestly, we have until five o'clock. We have an entire day. We're, we're going to do it all. We are on a mission to do it all. Aren't we guys? Yes. So what are we going to do first? Hoyo Zool. Hoyo Zool, which is like, like the water. basically it's a deep, they call it the deep blue water hole. So we're going to head over to the blue hole. Ava, do you want to do the monkeys too later? What is that? A monkey. Yeah. Like an animal. Yeah? Let's get the block here. <laughs> get out of my way. Get out of my shot, get of my kid. Way. Get out of here. Get out of my shot, kid. <laughs> Gosh. Ava, you want to take a picture with this one too? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we are headed over to Poi Azul, the blue hole. It's not Poi, it's Oyo. Oyo Azul, the blue hole. We're, I'm not going to challenge Lindsay on that one. Justin, she seems quite confident. Justin thinks he can speak Spanish. 
better than me, but he just pronounced an H. Well, I don't want to make it a public like competition it. on YouTube, but I'm going to. I speak Italian fluently. You <laughs> took six years of Spanish <laughs> in America. I think I'm probably going to have you beat on who can speak yeah, the Latin-based language let's go better. Let's to Hoya Zul, guys. Let's go to Hoya Zul. Vamonos, muchachos! <laughs> Are we ready? Or are we gonna jump or just get in? Let's get in. Turbo, we jumping or we getting in? Jumping. Jumping. Jump Ash, you jumping? Yeah, I'm jumping. Yeah, let's go. You ready to jump? You haven't jumped yet. Yeah. First jump, here we go, baby. I'm ready. Into a beautiful thing. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? <laughs> All right, Ava, tell us where we're going here. We're in the iguana. Iguana land. So guys, iguana land. These things are like dinosaurs. Can you believe that? They're like dinosaurs. Yeah. And they are really camouflaged, so I couldn't really see that one because it was camouflaged with the rock. Yeah, let's go look. There's a lot. Oh my gosh, they're like everywhere. Guys, there's oh, a wow. ton of iguanas in here. Before we explore iguana land, however, Oya Azul, how oh, was it, Tur? The water was super clear and pretty. It was pretty nice, huh? Yeah, it was sweet. Cliff was fun too. Ashley threw a front flip. Turner's throwing footballs off the cliff's edge. We have some friends that encouraged you to do a front, a front flip and you totally nailed it. Yep. So guys, I think so far we are quite impressed with this beautiful skate park. Lots yeah. to do. We're now checking off the watering hole, the blue hole, if you will. Now we're doing iguana lands. And we do a little lunch. Let's get close up and personal with these iguanas. We got chicken strips, chicken Caesar salad, which is a unique choice, but we'll see if you like it. No, I love it. You love it? Okay, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna try mommy's salad. Try mommy's salad. This guy got a salad. Grandma's chicken salad. <laughs> I got a chicken burger. Oh yeah, he loves cheese. Hey guys, can we actually family council, mom, with YouTube? I'm being told, first of all, I got called Rob Gronkowski a second time today, but Lindsay doesn't like the shades. Will you guys just please decide? I like the guy, I just don't like the shades. Yeah, will you just maybe decide if they should kick Go. it or keep it on the shades? Just let me know. Keep it. It's the combo of the shade, the chain, and the tropical outfit. They say I look like Uncle Rico. Back in 82, I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Hey, but keep it, huh? Right, you're my peanut. Okay, so we just did a little research here. We found out that Ava is tall enough to do the zip lines. This little girl, she's only like six years old, almost seven though. And she's brave enough to do zip lines? Kind of crazy. She already jumped off a cliff today. So right now they close for lunch, the zip lines. So we're headed over to do the cave swim. I would say- Take you seriously in those glasses. Hard to take me serious. Hey, uh, you can throw a football over that mountain? How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? So we're all going to do the cave swim. And then when they open up the zip lines, that's where we're going next.
Here we go. Down into the cave we go. All right, Ava, ready? Here, come with me. I got you. You go first. I'll go first? It's not bad, I promise. Come on. One, two, three, go. How's this, King? Ball. Oh my. You're not going so with me? Cool. Oh no. It's fun. No, Maybe. no. Just put your face under one. Two, three, go. Ava, you gonna go? Yeah. yeah! Oh, look at this. We got a bug and turns hair. No way. Dude, oh my gosh, look at that. That's gross. Oops. Not really. Ash Bash, you ready for this? Bando? Yeah, I'm ready? ready. All right. All right, guys, so we are doing the famous zip line over here at Skate Park. My turn? Hola. Hola, amigo. Venga, amigo. Vamos para el equipo. Hola, mi amigo. Hey. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you. We're gonna have a little guide here to come with us. They're gonna help us. Miguel is gonna help Landon out here today because we got all four kids going on this thing. This is uh, this is no joke here. I can't believe this little girl Are is you brave ready? enough to do this. Are you ready? You're gonna be going on zip lines. Ash, you feel nervous over here? Okay, the anticipation of the first one is always the worst. <laughs> Ava, nervous? Ashy. Nervous? Yeah. Lando, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm ready. Turn. You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Woo! Go, Lando! Alright, turns up. First time. Zip lining. Go turn in. Let me last word. Say, see ya, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah. Go, Ashy, my brave boy. Bye, Ash. Okay, Mama, you're next. All right, I'm up. Hold these with one hand. Mama's going zip lining. <laughs> Come on, boys. Yeah, Mom, that's so much fun. <laughs> Ava, look at me. Hello. That's my sister. That's my sister. Did you hear him? Eva! Did you like it? Not too scary because the trees are so tall. Not as scary as you thought? No. Nope. Trees are so tall. Did you like it? That was not good. Did you like it? I love that. I love it. Really, what do you think of zip lining? That's sick. That's awesome. Did you love it? Yeah. Guys, Miguel has just <laughs> taken my place. <laughs> and he's carrying Lando up the stairs here. What a guy, what a guy. Scared? No? You don't seem to be scared about anything. Ready, set, go. Right now, there's a floating bridge. 
Crawling through our little cave adventure here, aren't we, Ava? Oh boy, can we fit? Yes, we can. That one right there, pull yourself in. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, here comes Ava. <laughs> Watching her has been the highlight just because she is so little. She's so little these guys actually have to go out on the line to get her. <laughs> She's just so little. She doesn't weigh enough to come all the way in. <laughs> that was so, so fast. <laughs> This just in, Lindsay just claimed this is the coolest spot our family has ever been I'm in terms of it. vacation. She has claimed it now. Unbelievable. The natural beauty, natural landscape is breathtaking. I think that's really what does it for this place, is it's really natural. Sure, some of this stuff has been, like there's glazed cement here probably to like create more of a pool, but all of this is natural and that's what makes it so gorgeous. This water is perfectly clean. Oh. Look. Zip lining hundreds of feet up over this beautiful green rainforest was unbelievable. 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 I mean, we live in the desert, so this is just, the kids have never experienced anything like this. In fact, I just have to talk about how brave our kids were on that zip line. Oh my god. I was proud of every single one of them, but Ava, our little six year old. <laughs> there she is right here. <laughs> Did you have so much fun? Yeah. Yeah. And then hang on, big shout out to Lando though. Oh yeah. Like a champ with Miguel going on zip lines going like 50 miles an hour. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it was fast. Yeah. So if you didn't know this, we had a tour guide, Miguel, who came with us personally just to help Landon. There was a guy at the front and he said, I'm gonna send a tour guide with you to make it easier. He's professional, he knows what he's doing, and that ended up being the biggest blessing. We were so grateful for him. Huge blessing. 
blessing to have him there. I Super kept telling him he was the man. La mejor. La mejor. But really, the little Ava, she didn't even look like she should be up there. The gear was just so big on her, I was dying. And she didn't even hesitate. Thing. She just was like, yeah, let's go. She, I, was more scared. I was more scared than she was. I told Justin, sometimes the scariest part is just worrying that all of my babies are safe up there. <laughs> Can I get a uh, virgin pina colada there, dear? What a day! And it is coming to an end. We are now walking back towards our transport back to the beautiful Nickelodeon Hotel. Lano, how was it, my friend? It was good. Highlight oh, for you? Good. It was amazing, fantastic, unbelievable, incredible. Yeah. Give me the highlights, Lano. What's the highlights? Probably the, not the water zip line, but the other one. The, the big zip line? Yeah. Sir, okay. give us highlights. The big zip line, the waterfall, and the cliff oh, by the, the blue thing. Well, oh, the cliff, the jumping up, okay. Yeah. Everything. The funny story about me, though, is I was scared about like every, almost every single thing like you did. But you're a little nervous, but the I... second you saw it, you're like, yeah, I'm not scared. We're jumping. I'm jumping in that. Yep. The underwater cave was a little bit nervous at first, but the it really wasn't that deep. What was eerie, the fact that it was really deep in some section, you couldn't go to them. There was tunnels in there. They don't let you explore, but they were pitch black. Karen and I went down there. Goggles just peeked our head in, and of course, you can't see anything, but you can tell they go very far back there. That was pretty cool. Ava, come over here, girl. The color of the water all the way down in that cave, wow. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Just, the, I think the natural ecosystem here, I think, is what's most incredible. All right, give me highlights, girl. It was really so fun. Um, the water was really refreshing. And um, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> really, really refreshing, she says. Now turn around. Oh my goodness, he's following you. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh my gosh, how funny. Alright guys, we've made it back to the beautiful Nickelodeon Resort and we are about to eat at yet again another wonderful restaurant. We've actually been pretty exploratory during this time here. We haven't repeated eating at any place for dinner yet. And honestly, they have a lot of really fun options that are non-restaurant based. In other words, they have like buffets randomly throughout like the resort. Like tonight they were supposed to have a Taste of the World event. Looks like they had canceled. We had that uh, orange carpet event where they, unfortunately that was canceled as well because of the weather. But that was also, uh, again, some sort of buffet, not in a restaurant per se, but but restaurant-wise, we've eaten it, well, not all of them yet, but we're checking them off. Tonight was one that we've been eyeballing now for a little while, right? We walk past it, the first one, every single time. So tonight we're eating at an Asian place called Walk Walk. It looks really good because I love Asian food. Yeah, we love, you know, sushi, as you guys know, and things like that. I thought you liked sushi. Sushi! 
It's a beautiful, peaceful evening right now. We're just chilling outside. We actually chose to sit outside rather than inside. The weather's good. Weather's amazing. We're just kind of hanging out. Live music's about to start. Yeah, I think we're just tired. Ava fell asleep on the bus. Excited to get some good food in our I'm bellies. Yawning. And... I just yawned twice, actually. And then I think we're maybe going to go swim back at the pool, right? Yeah. Is that the plan? Right outside our room? We never stop swimming. These guys are nonstop over here, man. <laughs> We've only got two more days, though. Dos mas dias. Aqui, a puta cana. If he said that wrong, comment down below. guys just turn on eye closed tonight in fact Lindsay is hard at work right now as we speak editing clips stories reels to go on her instagram be sure to go over there and check it out because she's doing an incredible job posting about our adventures totally different perspective than you're going to get on youtube so be sure to head on over to her instagram to check those out i would say today was an absolute win amazing unbelievable experience so many cool things to do with that part you know what was so amazing is first of all how kind the people were there to sweet land and especially nice. that made the experience even more sweet absolutely and then just the kindness of this guy here helping Lana throughout the entire park. And the fact that Ava's now old enough to do some of these things that generally maybe she it's couldn't fun. have done in years past. And just, our whole family can go. Yeah, now our whole family can go and enjoy these kind of wild adventurous experiences. There's one more left for this trip and it's tomorrow. So be sure to come back to hang out with us. We're going on a little bit of a sailing adventure, we'll say, to an island. So be sure to come back tomorrow. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you're having an amazing spring break. See you tomorrow, guys. See you guys. All right, you guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi. Hello. Want to tell everyone what we're doing today? We're on a boat right now. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. And we're sitting on this thing where I think it's going to fall. Well, it, it feels like it's going to fall, but it's not. So let's go back in time just a couple hours because we got up early this morning and got on a big bus, bigger than a school bus, it felt like. Kind of like the buses that we did just yeah. last week yeah. a little bit, right? And we drove for quite a while, actually. We came all the way here to I think we're kind of on the Caribbean side of the island at the moment. We are on a catamaran, a beautiful catamaran, and we are sailing to Catalina Island. La Isla de Catalina. Right, Eva? Yes. La Isla de Catalina. And we're going to do some snorkeling. We've got some beaches we're going to hang out at. We're going to swim. But I think we're going to be on this catamaran for like the next hour. It's going to be a little bad. been talking about our bus over here, Ashy, and I believe that there's actually dogs on wheels below the bus that keep barking. I don't believe it. No, I think it's true. No, it's definitely And not. they're being fed food. And the reason they're barking is because they're running out of food, so they have to run faster to make the bus go. The reason we say that is because you'll hear in just a second the sounds the bus makes. We made a little minor stop here this morning. We are waiting for somebody else to arrive. And Lindsay walked in, she's like, I've never been so happy in my life. Because, well, there's snacks. US snacks, apparently. <laughs> apparently she's been dying to have some Pringles. Regular Pringles, not hot spice barbecue. <laughs> no, when I mean, you're at an all-inclusive, they have a lot of great food, but they don't have- Some of the items. things that you maybe used to. You miss to. it. She misses it. So. <laughs> I miss it too. I like, and I miss he my misses Twix. it. Exactly. I miss my, my team. Oh, there's Twix here? Okay, I, I might miss Twix a little bit. And Snickers, we miss Snickers a little bit too, don't we? Just a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so we stopped over here at a Petro station and uh, it's actually a really beautiful, nice, clean cafe. In fact, it looks brand new. Waiting for someone else to arrive. Ava, show us what you got, girl. Sprite, cotton candy, Pringles. Okay. All right, so we got Twix, loving it. Some potato chips. Twix over here for Lando. Twix over here for Pringles. Pringles. Ava, cotton candy, Pringles, and Sprite. You know, we found these brownie brittles here. Blondie style. Pretty yum. Sure, what you get? Cookies and cream, Marshy, Pringles, and a fruit punch. Fruit punch, mama. Received an anonymous tip from someone who wants to meet me here to discuss an illegal hot Cheetos ring. Vamanos! <laughs> it's muchachos. <laughs> We're back on the road, everybody. We're back on Catalina Island. I'm eating a lot of yeah, the breakfast. All right, the breakfast chamber. You're just having this discussion whether something is better than nothing in terms of breakfast. I'm of the belief that something's got to be better than nothing. Just yeah. something to get energy in your body. It was our only option. 
it was. Gas station food was our only option. And I'll be honest, I haven't heard a single complaint, except for myself. The brownie brittles hurt my tum tum. Best Snickers I've ever had. And I don't eat Snickers at all. This is the only friend I've ever had in the morning in my life. So I feel like there's always like new beginnings, new things, you know, you witness new things when you travel foreign countries. I'm actually witnessing new things just within like my own family. For example, Lindsay eating cheese puffs and Snickers. Keep a Snickers by in your purse. All right, so what Ava was talking about was this little basket thing where we're on our own little catamaran here. And then I realized they had this while the pumpkin eating. So as long as you don't cut those with a knife, we're gonna be okay. But we're on our own little catamaran here, our own little spot. We're sharing it with some other wonderful people here from all sorts of different countries. In fact, guys, how many languages did this guy speak as we drove over here? First of all, he didn't stop speaking the entire time. Four languages. He was speaking French, he was speaking Spanish, he was speaking English, and he was speaking German, actually. He's doing German. Very educated in linguistics, our, uh, our tour guide here. Hey, these guys are fishing with their hands. Check it out. Squirrel! That should be called Justin's dream, not Diana's dream or Lindsay's dream. Maybe if you had worked a little harder. A beautiful, beautiful Catalina Island. We're venturing out now into the sea, Turbo and I. Venturing out into the ocean here. Just turn an eye for the moment, okay? We're gonna explore. We're gonna take the underwater scooter out. We're gonna have a little fun, okay? Ready for this? Ready. Let's go. So we always bring some cat food when we go snorkeling here. What I say always, we've done it like twice. <laughs> but it's become now a forever habit because it is the best way to get a fish to come to us. So, you ready boys? Mama, are you ready for some catfish? All right, so a couple things. One, I got just got stung by a jellyfish. Two, my catfish thing is not working. That's okay, we're gonna try again. We got more cat food. In my defense, I didn't think it was chunky. I thought it was the pate style, all right?
super proud of Ash. He was hesitant. He wasn't so sure he wanted to go snorkeling. He decided to come, and we had a blast together. He's my little buddy out there. Yes. How was it? Awesome. We saw all kinds of fish. He's even Mr. Tough Guy because this is his second time getting stung by a jellyfish. Seriously, it's so annoying. <laughs> but he's not alone because I got stung right before I got back on the boat. Yep. <laughs> so now we're twinners. They don't hurt that bad though, luckily. It wasn't too bad, but it was beautiful out there. We got to see some beautiful fish. We got out there, did some snorkeling with Turn and Dad. Her a lot of blast the cat food did not work. <laughs> it's a little bit of a fail. Turn got the water scooter out. Yep, and we looked at these cool gray with blue striped fish. The fish were so pretty I got out there. Awesome. You guys stung too? Yeah. I don't know if it was a stung, but I got it. Turn claims he got stung by a jellyfish three times. I didn't say that. <laughs> and then Dad says he got one. We've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six jellyfish bites between our family. Okay, wait, the number keeps going up. Oh boy, you're bleeding. That's what I thought too. <laughs> it was the cat. There was one time too. Oh. We were right under the boat. Oh, gracias. Agua. Woo, oh, no, lunch. Okay, sorry, go ahead. I went under the boat and something like grabbed onto my pinky toe. I don't know what it was. Yeah. No, it wasn't. He was way behind me. I don't know what it was. It was freaky though. It was a shark. You never know what's under the water. Running total, eight jellyfish bites. I think you mean the sting. arrived at What's up, beautiful, guys? beautiful Catalina Island. Hi guys. So we're gonna be here for the next three hours, two and a half hours. Guys, they've got these beautiful beaches. They've got a snorkeling section that has overhanging cliffs. The rain really just crazy. started to drizzle just a little bit. But the sand, it's like an oven. It feels this is, so good. This is Ava's heaven. We just entered Ava's heaven right now. She'll be on the beach the whole day. snorkeling and suddenly Turin notices some people above us on the cliff and what do you think his first reaction was jump so we recruited a couple of people you might be surprised to see this one who's this a daredevil we got ashy turbo and lando's enjoying that water scooter that he loves so stinking much right now with mama so we're gonna wave to mom and see if we can find this cliff and jump who's going first me actually i'm gonna go second to last and i'll catch ava sounds good ava yep. three three two, two one, one go, go. How was it? <laughs> You're crazy, girl. How was did it hurt? Um, a little. A little bit. Did it, your arms that hurt? Okay. You should have seen her face as she landed. It was amazing. <laughs> 
I'm nervous. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm jumping. I can do this. Ava did this. I can do this. I'm so scared. One, go. Guys, I can't do it. Three, two, two one. one. Just don't think about it. Just go. Go. So scary. So good thing you guys were here to force me to go or I would have got it. That was awesome. It always feels a lot scarier from the top. And once you jump, not that bad. She's like, I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. <laughs> and then we just had I counted down for her, so we made her do it. <laughs> the truth is I'm way too competitive and I would never not jump. But wow, when you're up there, it feels like you're like 20 stories high. Sometimes it takes us about, about 20 minutes. Think about it. That's an idea. Wow. We just jumped off a cliff in the Dominican. Dominican Republic, Catalina Island. Not to be confused with the one by California. We had to go to the gift shop. We had to go to the gift shop. Because David jumped off a cliff. It's pretty epic. And they had these really cute earrings. So we had to get one. And a necklace. And they gave us a couple free necklaces too, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, quick little funny story here. Dave and I almost missed the ship, our little boat, which reminds me of when I almost missed the boat with Uncle Brandon buying Lindsay's wedding band before we got married. Do you know that story? I almost missed the cruise ship. It was buying Mama's wedding band. She was my fiance at the time. We had to run back to the boat. It was like you and I today. We had to run back. We were the last ones on the boat. It's because we were buying this right here. Show them. Ooh, pretty. And show them this. Oh, is that a sea turtle? Uh, jelly man, offspring, offspring, jelly man. Did you have so much fun today? Yeah. Yeah. You ready to go back to our hotel? Yeah. Yeah. Our time at Catalina has come to an end. We are headed back now on our beautiful catamaran. Guys, huge shout out, first of all, to the crew that jumped off the cliff. That was amazing. Awesome. Incredible little Ava. We ran to the gift shop afterwards. Got a little gift. Lando over here was cruising to his heart's content on our water scooter. He looked like a dolphin out there, dude. Yeah, I did. this was gonna be a part of our tour. Otherwise, maybe we wouldn't have almost missed our boat, huh? But it's okay, it's okay, we're here now. And guess what, we actually found something really similar here. In fact, the exact same necklace and earrings, which is crazy. They come in at a lower cost on the mainland. Apparently on an island, there's a premium you pay. I think so. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't ask. So yeah, we're doing a little shopping here. Some random stop. We don't know where we are exactly. Again, on the road again. Just can't wait to get back on the road again. Going places that I've never been. Hi guys. Hello. Yeah, we're just back on the road. Back on the road we go. We got kids fake fighting back here. Hey, who's picking on who? Oh, Three days later. We have made it! Home sweet home. Guys, we just said, hey, when we get home, we're referring to Utah, like no playing with friends, like we're just gonna unpack, you know, we're gonna unwind before school starts on Monday. And they thought home meant here. That's how long we've been That's gone. how long we've been gone. Home is not here, but I love that you called our hotel home. <laughs> it feels like it after being gone since six o'clock this morning, though. <laughs> we're back, we're back at our, oh! <laughs> Ashley just pushed me. I'm gonna light him up. All right, Ava, jump. I'm three. One, two, three, go. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're going to breakfast right now. It's like beachfront, and we've never tried their breakfast before, so I we hope it's good. We already been out to this place for lunch. Now we're going to breakfast to that place. So it's gonna be yummy. <laughs> yummy. 
And it's our last day here, mm -hmm. isn't it? Last full day here in the beautiful Dominican Republic. And we are going to spend all day here at the resort. We have no agenda. We have nothing on the schedule. We're just gonna have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So turns bringing up the caboose with Lando. Mommy is at the gym. And we're gonna have a little breakfast. <laughs> So we have one more meet and greet we haven't done. We've actually, they have meet and greets popping up all over this amazing resort. And we've done a couple of them. However, one today at 1230 is a surprise in the lobby. So before we actually have to go get our COVID test at one, we thought, hey, why not take advantage of these character pop-ups as they're happening throughout the resort. So we've got one that we're headed to right now. Ashley and I came ahead to make sure we didn't miss it. And again, it's gonna be a surprise. Surprise! So TBD and who it is. And then after that, we're actually headed to get our COVID test, which is conveniently located right over here to the side of the resort. Fingers crossed it's negative because Supi told Lano's had some sniffles the last couple of days just the sniffles so here we go i'm sure it is as we have arrived at our covid test so something from paw patrol marshall popped up fire engine kids love them right oh yeah guys so Liz and i actually got asked to do a little bit of a call a commercial it's probably something they call it a commercial but i think it's maybe more it was the our, language it was our acting thing. debut acting debut i felt kind of <laughs> like brad pitt she was kind of like angela jolie anyway so check out their instagram they've actually been reposting some of our stuff which is pretty cool so we've had a ton of fun here but before we go home again we have to be covid clean so we're going to be tested right now this will be the second time this trip yeah these tests are always very exciting because we never really know I've if already, they're going to be going all the way to our brain or not. All right. Tell me when I hit the sweet spot. But I also told him Lennon's had some sniffles. So fingers crossed here. A little bit he has. Yeah. We've been gone for two weeks. So it's like you never know what you can pick up along the way. But we are just praying that we have not picked up anything. The rest of us feel great. We feel fine. Yeah. No one's sick. Lennon's got some sniffles. We'll see though. Find out tomorrow morning. Just right before our flight. <laughs> Justin. Ava, this thing in the Dominican Republic, they go from here to there inside. Yeah. So it's gonna be. Oh, For some of you guys, it won't touch your brain because you got no brain. <laughs> great, really great job. Yeah. <laughs> it's the face. That's it. Finish. All right. I'm done. It is gonna be draw. That's it. Done. Lana just said he had the chills and uh, he's feeling hot all of a sudden, so we've got a self diagnosis over here. Lindsay! Oh, number two! Come on! Vamos! Put your arms down. It doesn't hurt as bad as it Not too bad. Can I have seconds? No. Uh -uh. So take away. Turn! Go! <laughs> that's it, that's it! Not bad? Oh, they came down. It was the onions. She's gonna say, That was very loud, actually. It hurts for years. It's normal old age problems. He's <laughs> letting Oh, he's letting Oh, that one gave Ashley the giggles. Ava. Who's it gonna be? Ava, Ava or Justin? Justin. Ooh! <laughs> Hey, Gronk, if you're watching. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. That's, I, I think my nose worse than that. Oh, my. Hey, Bob. We saved the littlest nose for last. All right, well, COVID tests done. Uh, we don't get the results actually until tomorrow morning. So we're just gonna assume we're not testing positive for any sort of virus. Yeah, it could be. So now we party. We're gonna get slimed again. Who wants to get slimed again? Raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> 
We had one person. We're gonna get slimed one more time. Me. And then Ava actually has something really fun she's wanting to do. You want to tell I'm everyone what you're doing? I'm doing it too. Mom, Turn really wants to do it. Do we let him? He wants to what? Get his hair done. No. Ava, tell everyone what you're doing. So you do like braids, and then you put beads on them, like three. You pick a color, and you can leave half of your hair done, or do like two here, and then leave this hair here, and then do this whole side braids, and then beads. You yeah. excited? So he's so excited. It's a Caribbean style braids, but I think we're thinking we're gonna do over here. All right, so guys, there's an iconic place here for those that are Nickelodeon SpongeBob fans. The pineapple. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Right, so the pineapple house is actually an entire like villa. It's beautiful. Beautiful villa. In fact, it's got its own you... private pool inside. Yep. In fact, if you saw from the drone footage, it's got its own private pool. It's basically it's, it's a standalone home. It's like here, a house. Right? Yeah. It has yeah. An upstairs, a little kitchen area. It's big. However, we have to get a picture in front of it. So some of the kids are a little hot, so we let them hang back. And Miss Ava and Lindsay are going to ask a little picture in front of this beautiful pineapple house. Kiddos. Ava, what are we doing now? Um, so we just got slimed, and um, now we're going to like... We're gonna get like, super slimed, aren't we? Uh-huh, so it fills up this like, really big cup. What the? How did mom get on that? One thing that Ava has been begging to do the entire trip. Tell them. So I want to do the hair thing. I showed Daddy on the camera. This braid and the beat up about it. She's seen a couple girls with it. So Dad is over there finding someone on the beach that can braid this little girl's hair. Que bonita! 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 Que So, true story, she's been asking for these since almost the beginning of our time here in the Dominican Republic, and I've been a little hesitant because I've been afraid that it's gonna rip her hair out a little bit, and I want her hair to stay nice. So, she's been waiting patiently, and this morning in the pool, she goes, so mom, can I do it? And I said, yeah, and she goes, ah! And she just basically freaked out. She was so excited. She goes, ah! I've never seen her so happy. So all of her dreams right now are coming true with this beautiful braid. She's gonna be able to go back to school and show all her friends. What do you think, Ava? Hello. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Woo. They're so pretty. Perfect way. Which is So we're in the pool. Enjoying some pina colada. Miami Bay. Mm. 
virgin pina. Virgin, virgin, virgin. So we love pina coladas. We gotta soak up the fact that you can get pina coladas, enjoying the beautiful view of the beautiful ocean. Kids, of course, have always made friends. And then you can count on Landon, who's over here constantly talking to adults. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ava's got a new trick. First of all, loving the hair. Let's see it turn around. Oh. Mom and I were saying we kind of wish we had done this yeah. at the beginning of the trip. But that's okay. Lesson learned. We'll just have to come back and do it another time. Guys, can you imagine when she enters first grade with that hair? Oh my gosh, people are like, Ava May Bingham? I think they'll stay in until then though? Oh yeah. Alright, however, back to the Get action at hand. You got a trick you want to show us? Yeah. Come out here. Princesa, my la, la mi hija is un princesa. <laughs> Do a triple backflip and a triple front flip. All underwater at the same time? Uh-huh. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, trip. So, okay, what are you doing first? Triple backflip. Triple back. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Are you kidding me? Ava maybe them. Okay, now we're doing a triple front flip. Go. place called sugarcane we've had breakfast here we actually came here last night however our phones had kind of died so we didn't film the deliciousness of this place i would say though however of all the restaurants that we've eaten at we'll put this in the top two agreed Lindsay. behind the camera she's shaking her head yes they've got everything here you could possibly imagine they've got something for everybody pizzas etc it's quite good and i think the best part is the ice cream yeah ice cream and the dessert coupled with well you can put toppings on your ice cream like red velvet cake crumbles <clears throat> All right? Yeah. Anyway, so we're back again this evening, and we're loving it, guys. We're gonna miss this place. By the way, side note, Turn's been calling me tinfoil, because he says I'm so shiny. So if you're wondering why I glisten. It's like diamonds. Because I have lotion for my sunburn, okay, guys? Turn, okay? That's why I'm so tinfoily. Lando, Lando's <laughs> just staring into the camera. Eva. All right, where'd you get those shoes? I don't know. Wow. Oh. One of those! There's a lot of different sizes, huh? <laughs> breakfast for the last time. With paradise uh, behind us. Paradise right behind us. But we have a little funny story to tell you. So okay, have, do you want to tell it? Yeah. You tell it, Mom. Okay, so we go breakfast. to the gym this morning, we meet up for breakfast. Justin comes back from getting a plate of food and he whispers this to me. So, Lindsay, we got our COVID test back. Everyone but Landon. <laughs> But the reason that's miraculous is because he's the only one that's sick right now. Well, well, he's got the sniffles. Like a hint of sniffles. Just the sniffles. He's not very sick at all, but he's the only one that we were like a little bit worried about. So we're thinking he didn't send Landon's because it's positive. <laughs> and turnover here is like, oh. Uh, he and Ashton are just. They're hoping it's positive because they think we'll be stuck here. I don't think what they understand is you'll be stuck in your room here. <laughs> which they're just fun. praying for a positive result. I'm like, okay, first of all, COVID is not fun. You would feel miserable. Second of all, you'll be stuck in your room. Anyway, so we got Landon's test, and thankfully, it's he's positive. Asleep. Took my life from negative to positive. I just want you to know that. <laughs> it's negative. We all passed. We're all headed home, which is sad because we're leaving paradise. Yeah, 
met some wonderful people out here. The hotel yeah. has been amazing. We're talking like beautiful beaches, beautiful amenities, fun entertainment. I mean, it's nonstop. Just the other day, we're walking through Home Village and we recognized that there was an arcade there. We didn't even know that was there. So much to do. It's, it's been the most incredible vacation. It's been awesome. It's been so fun to hang out here at Nickelodeon and let the kids just kind of enjoy the Caribbean. The resort has been so good to us. The people of the Dominican Republic are such oh my gosh, kind so nice. people. It has made me think of Maddie as she is serving in the Dominican Republic amongst all of the people here. What an incredible experience that must be for her to they, be here. Well, they just really recognize Landon a little bit more, honestly, than yes. they do in the U.S. Yeah, that was like the first thing we noticed when yeah. we got to the airport is just how incredibly considerate they were of our situation. Yeah, they That's just, without cool. even being asked, they just step in and help. And honestly, that just doesn't happen in the U.S. And then the, <laughs> and the, the zip line, they sent a guide with us what, to be one-on-one -on -one with him without anybody saying yep. anything. So we, yeah, we've been really, really, been really impressed. Cool. Yeah. Needless to say, we will be coming back for sure to the Dominican Republic. It's been amazing. Yeah, this is what it looks like post vacation luggage, kids, family. We're exceeding the weight limit on this golf cart right now. <laughs> Big family. Big family. I've never been to an airport like this. Look at these little canopies we're under right now. We are boarding our flight by first boarding a bus Looks that like I believe is be train. Hot bus, really hot <laughs> and I believe the bus is going to drive us to our airplane. Or maybe we're taking a bus to Orlando. We're not sure. All right, guys, we are sitting here just in line waiting for we don't know what we're waiting for. But this just in, it's already delayed an hour. It's for sure gonna be delayed a little bit more because we're just sitting here and it's supposed to leave in 20 minutes and no one's even boarded the plane yet. We still have to take a bus. So there's a good chance that we're gonna miss our flight in Orlando back to Utah. Fingers crossed, Night but Orlando. we're gonna put this out there right now that we might miss it. However, at least Orlando, we're gonna think positive here. Or at least Orlando has a hotel inside of here. Yeah, hey, glass is half full here, people. It's meant to happen. TBD, but we'll see. We don't know. It's not looking good, though. Can we just go to Disney World one more time? Yes. Disney World, Disney World! Oh, I, I want to go to Disney World! <laughs> and you go, it's, it's gonna be unlikely to be delayed. That is a great impression. Well, right, guys, this just in. We officially are gonna miss our flight. It's two hour delay. Another two hours. We don't take out till four o'clock. There's no way we're going to make our flight in Orlando. However, they say it's due to extreme weather. So maybe our Delta flight is delayed as well. But right now, we're gonna sit here in the Punta Cana airport. The goal is to get on Delta's app and try to figure out if we can find another way home when we get to Orlando. That's the that's the big deal. So we'll figure it out. But turn you got your wish. Probably isn't stuck in an airport now. Not the ideal scenario. I'd rather be stuck in our hotel. This is what a delayed flight looks like in a foreign country, in a foreign airport. We're just hanging out. No announcements, no nothing, but we're smiling. So right now, it looks like 4.15 is takeoff time. Landing at 7.15, and our departing flight out of there is... 750 and it's not a connection so we actually have to go out of the airport and come back in it's a complicated situation The Delta flight got delayed, which is good because of weather. If it gets delayed a little bit longer, we actually might make it, so we'll see. There's also a very good chance we spend the night here in Punta Cana again, which, yeah, sure, we're in. We just don't know where we would go at the moment. All right, guys, this just in. Literally, it just started boarding our flight. Well, we'll see. We're gonna stand here in line again. They didn't make an announcement, nothing. In fact, the sign said Fort Lauderdale, and we saw our passengers going towards it. We're like, well, let's go ask. Anyway, again, the people here have been very kind, but uh, not a ton of information on kind of where we're going. But we're here, and we're we're actually at the front of the line to get on our jet right over there. So we will see. 
Keep going, boys. Keep going. Vamanos. Here we go. We might actually make it, baby. Woo hoo! Guys, well, Landex over here has informed us many times that it's still raining in Orlando. We know that. And there's and there's thunderstorms. I just asked my watch. Yeah. So Landex over here has informed the captain of the uh, weather advisory. So I don't know if we're gonna take off. Oh, we're taking off. Oh. So guys, at this point, fingers crossed, we make our next flight, which is Delta. But which is kind of our favorite airline. If the flight takes off late, they don't have any direct flights to Punta Cana. If the flight takes off late and the Delta flight doesn't get delayed anymore, we're gonna miss it. All right, guys, we got an upset pilot here because they're delayed for some reason again. Pilot's mad? So uh, we had an issue on the way here. They couldn't get air into the cabin for some reason. I need some air. Apparently, they're having that same issue now. We're sitting towards the front of the plane, so it's not too hot. Anyway, the pilot seems a little frustrated at some. Yeah. However, we wait. It should be quite the journey on the way home. Oh, yeah, we're actually waiting for people. They didn't really tell us anyone that the board plane was even boarding. So people are just kind of... In the sign that we were boarding on said Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it said, yeah, it said Fort Lauderdale. I think we said that. But the issue is there are people that are checked in. Their bags are actually on the plane, but they're not on the plane. So if they don't get on, they got to take their bags off. Anyway, it's a process. Well, we're going to be part of the solution, not the problem, though. Sadly, we missed the flight. Well, the next day, just update. <laughs> Air conditioning card up to the aircraft. Hopefully, this one is cooler. Again, please look up over your heads, check to make sure all those vents are open to keep the shades down until we can get this cabin cool off again. We apologize. So boarding complete. I am really surprised we waited this long for other passengers. I did not know airlines did that. Good for them. Shame on those that were late, but kudos to the airline for waiting. It's very nice of them. However, these people delayed us by like another 40 minutes. 100% we're not gonna make our Delta flight now. Whatever. So we've officially landed. However, we're still sitting on the tarmac. Uh, another plane is at our gate and uh, we can't pull in. So we have undoubtedly missed our flight back home. So at this point now, we scramble to see if we can catch one tonight, tomorrow morning. They did tell us that there was not a flight with six seats available until Saturday morning. It is Thursday, so we might extend our two week vacation another two days. We will see. However, we've already put together some alternative plans to try to make this an experience because, well, life is an experience. Isn't that right, Pia? I'm actually kind of I'm excited, yeah. but I'm not actually kind of... Actually, I'm just excited that we did that. I'm yeah. just excited. Yeah. I'm super excited that we made us, missed our flight, actually. Me yeah. too. Stay positive, right? No big deal. The only thing that matters is we made it to Orlando, because if we were still stuck in the Puerto Cotto, that would be even worse. No, it wouldn't. Tougher. We would be at the Nickelodeon. <laughs> Nickelodeon is the best. Apparently, we're walking to customs right now. You look like just a total stud right now. <laughs> we're walking to customs, but it looks like we're in the basement <laughs> of the airport. I don't know where we are. This must be Orlando Customs, though. Look at this place. I have no idea where we're going. Keep walking straight. Oh, I think there's a walk between and I can take time. Go here. guys <gasps> <laughs> longest day ever <laughs> our door doesn't work oh. i think this might get any better yeah right this oh. is what you call the vacation that never ends, ends. 
Guys, we literally have not ate dinner and it's literally almost 11.30 p.m. It's true story. We left by the airport at 10.30 a.m. It's 11.30 p.m. and we have done what? One, two and a half hour flight. That's all we've accomplished so far. Here's our hotel room for the next two days. <laughs> Guys, we took a really interesting Uber ride. We're gonna save the details. All the guy told me is, I got you. I'm like, all right, well, okay, well, get us there safe and we'll be okay. He's a nice guy. He was a great guy from Haiti. Like him. We're gonna quick order so, some food. Quick room tour? No, we're gonna quick order some no, food. No, I got you. Hang on, quick room uh. tour. Hang on, here you go. That's it. <laughs> hey, no, no. The good news There's is we have, nice a, to this. we have enough beds. Shower's pretty nice. The gear's pretty shiny. Oh, we got a big TV, big, big screen. TV. Nice little oh, couch. Oh, Turin's already gotten comfortable. You watch the Netflix. Oh, we've got a big mirror over here. Woo! We are living Rock large. Check. Rock and check Oh, 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 someone's got jokes. All I want is dinner right now. You know what? Your options are very limited given the fact that it's like midnight. You know what? Just keep your comments to yourself, okay? Guys, does it look like we just <laughs> got hit by a train, ran a marathon, and spent 12 hours on a plane? Because we did. Told by Turn and Justin that I look like I oh, my joke, not dad's. ran a marathon. Okay, the wind was blowing really strong when we were outside. He's lying. And I think after a day of traveling like we did that I look amazing. <laughs> Guys, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Come back for more adventures of the vacation that never ends. Subscribe to our channel, turn on those notification bells, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Nice chin mask, buddy. doing push-ups with dad this morning yeah. <laughs> good morning and welcome back because to a vacation day. Day. <laughs> we're still on vacation we're still on vacation this however is not our decision we are being forced to vacation at the moment we're being forced to have fun sounds good to me so we are in orlando at the moment we're having a buffet this morning at our hotel we just found we something haven't on had enough buffet. And we haven't had enough buffets already literally a cruise and then an entire all-inclusive we're just used to it at this point. But we jumped on Hotels.com last night, as you guys saw, and just found a hotel. We just thought, well, let's try to find something somewhat near the airport. But because we're going to have to be here for at least an additional day, let's have it be so we can just chill, hang out, right? So we found a random hotel that has a pool. and it's a really cool hotel. Yeah, it's kind of a cool hotel, actually. It's got a little water slide. It's like, okay, so we woke it's like up. a king's hotel. It looks like a king just owns the... You feel like a king here? Given the room size, I don't feel very royal. <laughs> But <laughs> so we woke up early this week. Well, actually, well, I think I'm just used to staying early. No, we didn't wake up early at all. We actually, slept in we slept longest. until like 10 o'clock. Uh, but we also went to bed at like 1:30 in the morning. Anyway, yeah, so we woke up this morning. Mommy went to the gym. Ava and I went to the gym with her. However, when we arrived, we were told that Ava's too little and I need to put shoes on. I said Santa Claus. So we decided to do a little workout outside. Outside, which was fun. Uh, I did push ups on this thing, and then they would run around the park, and then they would keep doing 10 push ups. Yeah, we really, we really nailed it this morning. So we had thought maybe we'll go crazy again today but we're not going to do that. So we thought about going to SeaWorld. We've heard of Rock Springs Run, which is kind of a fun place, but we ultimately decided we're just going to take it easy today. Which is very, you know, it's very unlike us. Look at my awesome hair. It's the same hair from last night. <laughs> we might take a shower Honey, today. You look glowing. You're glowing. <laughs> You're so pretty. You're so pretty. The funny thing is... I shower every single day, but the humidity makes it look like I don't shower. And that you need to. <laughs> <laughs> what smells like eggs? Nothing, sir. You're imagining it. Anyway, so the plan at the moment is pool for the little bit. We're very close to Disney Springs. And I don't feel like we spent enough time at Disney Springs last time. We're probably going to go back over there. In fact, I'll be honest, guys. The video that we uploaded when we were at Disney Springs, unfortunately, the footage got corrupted and it actually didn't make it into our final cut. So we're going to go back to Disney Springs anyway and maybe bring you guys along with us to show you some of the things we did a couple weeks ago. It was a week ago, I think. It's a I week ago. We're a little bit confused. Like, what okay. month it is, what day it is, what time it is, what country we're in, what time zone we're in. The weather, I think we're in China, actually. When the weather gives you rain, you make rainbows. Whoa! Oh, you're so poetic. Yeah. Everyone get it? Everyone get it? Yeah. Rather than lemon lemonades, when it, uh, when when life gives you rain, you, you look for the rainbows. Well, guys, life rain ruined our flight, and uh, well, the rainbow is the fact that we are uh, at a hotel. At a hotel. Now we're gonna go shopping. Now we're gonna go swimming. More vacation. We're going more vacation. Uh, What's my favorite store? Your favorite, What's your favorite store? Zara. Oh, Zara. Okay. Ready to go? Ready to go, Ash? Yeah. Hit the camera.
That's Anthony, the guy that made my omelet. So good. Okay, so funny story here real quick. We're at a buffet, right? And Ashton keeps coming back with these little mini boxes of cereal, Fruit Loops to be exact. We'll show you these right here. And uh, I said, dude, we're like at a buffet. Like, why are you getting mini boxes of cereal? You can get those anytime. He's like, dad, these are so good. He's like, we never have these at home because they have all the chemicals in them. Oh yes, that greedy grasping glove of chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh man. You lied to me. Yogurt is not like ice no. cream. In my defense, there's glyphosate, glyphosate something, chemicals, and... Wow, we're going scientific here. I was not expecting this. <laughs> and, <laughs> and there's tons of food dice in Fruit Loops. So, so believe I, it or not, I get cereal whenever I can get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So believe it or not, you can get cereal that's organic, that doesn't have chemicals, and doesn't have food dice. And doesn't taste as good. <laughs> it does too. No, it doesn't. It doesn't change the taste at all. Hey, chemicals are not flavor, and food dyes are not flavor. Okay, but still. So, it actually does taste the same because it is the same cereal, but just with no chemicals. Team Mom. Hey, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. There's limited kinds. That, like, there's the the non-chemical one doesn't have my favorite kind. What's your favorite thing? Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Oh, I can find you organic yes. Fruit Loops. You just wait. It'll be on your right. doorstep in just a few hours. Just, just call your mom. Just, just call your mom. And <laughs> mom, they're bringing you. Anyway, so. Mom, they're bringing you into this now, too. Would I say that we got our money's worth on a buffet for the kids? No. No, I would not say <laughs> we did. Because they ate cereal. <laughs> They're just hiding under towels. Except Lando and Sir and Dad. They're just, you know. Lando's actually my blanket. <laughs> Discover. What did we just discover at our hotel today? Turns like, dude, dad, I think they allow you to rent fishing poles here and basketballs and footballs and volleyballs. Well, guess what, people? We are going fishing, aren't we? We're gonna let mom chill by the pool for a bit. This is kudos to turn here. He found out the fact that we can rent a pole. Apparently there's bass. So we're gonna try our luck at some fishing because they give you the poles for free. They give you some little plastic gummies. And she said there's no gators. However, it would be kind of cool Otters if we saw turtles. a gator. So Ava, you wanna go fishing? Um, yeah. No. Ava's kind of taking one for the team because she didn't want to jump in the pool, but then she saw all of us leave and she's okay, I'm going to come too. So we'll see if we can catch any fish. The lady asked, how long do you think you'll be out there? And I said, honestly, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe an hour. We're not the most patient people in the entire world. Oh, Ava, got video on your hands. Oh, oh, yeah. I got you today, got you. Look at that hair. Oh my goodness, dude. You should see your hair right now. It's amazing. Ooh, lizards everywhere, by the way. Everywhere. This turns heavy. Ooh, guys, this is it. Guys? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. All of them kill you. <laughs> you got that right. We have entered the wilderness. All right, I'm feeling this spot right here is lucky. I'm feeling lucky right here. All right, Ava, what do we got here? Some ugly birds. These are some ugly birds. These are huge. Hello, guys. I've got nothing. Are you gonna attack me if I get closer? Wow, you're just chilling right here. I touch you. Friends? Nope, we're not friends. We're not friends. Mine? We're friends. Oh, he's gonna poop. He's puking. What's he doing over here? Alright, 
Well, we're nearing the 10 minute mark. 15. I think that we are we're about done. Yeah, we're about done. I was done about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> we like to fish. Slightly not as exhilarating as maybe other things that we enjoy doing. But we like to fish. Turin loves to catch anything, actually. Anything from fish to lizards to ladies. What can I say? Lana, you got something? This just in. Lana says he feel like he's got something. He said that three times now. Did you get anything? Yeah. What'd you get? I think I got a fish bag. As if we have not gotten enough bus rides over here. We're jumping on yet another bus. Oh, here we go. Okay, come on, let's go. All right, so I jumped off of camera there just for a minute because I thought we were gonna jump on our bus. However, only kind of found out that the bus actually didn't come till six o'clock. That bus was going to Animal Kingdom, all those other very fun places we've already been. We on the other hand wanted to go to Disney Springs. So we had a Lyft driver show up and then when he saw how many people were with us, he said he couldn't take us. He said, well, you have enough seats. Why can't you take us? He just said he wouldn't. So we had to cancel that lift. So we found another Lyft driver, this wonderful gentleman from Venezuela. We enjoyed chatting with for quite some time as he drove us here to beautiful Disney Springs. So we're here here now, Disney Springs. We're back again. We're gonna eat some dinner. In fact, we went to dinner one time. This is what, maybe a year ago. You guys weren't here with Jared and Bray on Jared's birthday. So back in September, we did a little date. And so we went to a place called Boat the Boat House. House. So we're gonna try to go get some dinner there this evening at the Lettuce. Apparently they're all down tonight. And we're just gonna shop. So like I said, this is the spot we took Jared and Brittany for Jared's birthday. Oh, I already found my Oreo Sunday. Yeah, I sure found my Oreo Sunday. Everything Oreo. I thought maybe he was having a heart attack, but he was a... And normally they have a... In fact, we called earlier today. They said they were completely booked up, nothing available whatsoever. And I just walk in, I said, hey, we have six people. And I said, we can seat you right now. Best cake ever. Okay. We love this restaurant. It's so good. So yeah, this is honestly one of our favorite spots here at Disney Springs. Because one, the food is really good, and then the ambiance is even better. So... It's on the water. We're going to introduce the kids. Yeah, Turin went the wrong way and just found a sick Nautique, he said. Oh, you did? All right, a super Nautique? Guys, we were just born to live on the water. We really were. We just love it so stinking much. So anyway, so we're going to eat here and then we're going to do a little shopping. All right, Ash, first impressions of the boathouse. Really good. Yeah, really good? Yes. Care about your burger? Good. Windy, look at that view though. Can't beat the view. All right. Orlando, first impressions of the boathouse. Good, see. See. <laughs> so Turin actually this morning told the waiter, he said, gracias, as he took his plate away. That's how long we've been. From Guam. In a, he was from Guam, and he spoke Vietnamese. Yeah. Ava, what do you think of boathouse? Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is what we've been waiting for. Oh, Lindsay, how was the boathouse? Just as amazing as I remembered. Yeah. It was over here going to town, except her burger's completely untouched. <laughs> yeah, she's super full until the sugar shows up. All right, so we are shopping here at downtown Disney Springs. Finding a whole lot of, you know, just stores that uh, we're familiar with. We got an Uggs of Free People. We just went into Zara. That seems to be kind of a popular one with Miss Ava over here. However, I will say that there are different inventory here on the East Coast than we're probably going to have on the West Coast. Ooh, just trying to walk off dinner, man. That was a big meal. Big meal. Yeah. That burger was good though. See us because it's 5 a.m. in the morning. 
We're headed to the airport right now, very quickly. We're hoping, we'll get on this flight. The weather's great right now. Yeah. We're going home, everybody. If you can see us and hear us, we're going home. Lindsay, are you back there? There she is. Whoa, you like creeped into like, delight, like a, like a creepy movie. So we have TSA pre-check and we have clear. So we get through our lines much, much faster. However, Lindsay is not TSA pre, only I am, but she is clear. So there's a TSA pre-check clear line that you just go right through. No need to wait at all. It took us two minutes. However, Lindsay in turn, because he's 14, they have to go through their other clear line, which only takes maybe 10 minutes versus the regular lines are taking like 25 minutes. So it makes it much easier to get through security when flying. And I mean, we don't have to get the airport two hours early, even though we arrived about an hour and a half early because we almost missed our transport this morning. They actually got the wrong phone number last night when they wrote it down. So good. And the guy was late, like 15, 20 minutes late. We thought, oh man, we gotta order another transport. But we made it on time and we're here. Now we're just waiting for Turn and Lindsay to come through. Off to our gate and home we go. Yay. Who's excited to go see Annabelle? Yay. All right, you guys, we are finally going home. 4.45 a.m. wake up call this morning. Still dark outside, but we are getting on a flight and going home. All right, well, it has been quite the adventure trying to get on an airplane. We just found out that seven people are gonna be bumped from this flight. Luckily, we're not one of them, but they are overbooked yet again. And they gave us seats in the very, very back, which don't recline, which, you know, we're grateful just to have a seat at this point, just trying to get home. But these delays and weather have really caused quite the conundrum, if I can use that term. Oh, indeed, you proper a metaphysical conundrum. All right, we've made it. Yeah made it bro buddy system we're buddies this flight because we love delta right because well they've got this the tv is the entertainment so here's the buddy system here today there's the buddy system over there today all right you guys we are finally flying home barely they have an overbooked flight this morning there are seven people that are just getting bumped that could have been us this morning every flight is jam-packed because everyone's trying to rebook their flights to get home from all the crazy weather in florida the airport this morning was a madhouse oh my gosh we have clear and he has pre-check and if it weren't for that i don't even know if we would have made it still does outside the craziest part is we're gonna get home at 10 a.m have a full saturday to do chores <laughs> have touched down in Utah. We did it! We did it! Turns photo, photo bombing our video here. We're home, everybody. Day 17. Is it day 17? Day 17. Oh my gosh. Guys, I think we're in for a little bit of a treat. I'm told the hot tub at our house green. is growing new species of animals. <laughs> so is the twin suitcase. <laughs> the dawn of a new species. I can't remember what our house looks like. I don't know who Annabelle and all are. Oh, she's gonna be so excited to see us. In fact, we are gonna go pick her up. However, as we landed, we got news that one of our bags did not make it. Guys, this couldn't be any better. It's been quite the week, quite the past few days. I just wanna point out Ted's awesome mask over here. No time to explain. Attack! No time to explain. So we're gonna go find out which bags did not make it. Hopefully, not many of them. I but... need to do laundry. Mine didn't make you. We're back to our car. We have a van. Raise your hand if you miss the warm weather. Me? I don't actually. I like it. 
Oh, okay. You do? Uh -huh. You do? You do? I do. It's cold. Can we just recognize the fact that we flew across the country and it's 9 in the morning? It's 10.30. No, we got, well, we landed at 9.45. That's true. That is true. Okay, everybody. We are about to pick up Annabelle, my sweet, sweet dear Annabelle. <laughs> I haven't seen her in 17 days. My third favorite woman in the family. Second, sometimes, depending on who I'm dealing with that day. Actually. <laughs> so, we've been gone for 16, 17, oh no, day 17. And honestly, just the excitement she has when she sees us, she does this little whimper. <laughs> when she's really, really excited. Well, we'll see if she can remember who we are. Is that what we're doing, huh? I'm gonna go for a drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or this is where we're gonna drive home, huh? Should I just go? <laughs> yeah, let's go. She just hops on your lap oh, like no. she's not 80 yeah. pounds. So, we are home, everybody. We have made it back to our beautiful home here in Utah. Yay. Guys, this is what being gone for two weeks looks like in terms of packages and mail, which our gracious neighbors put things in our home for us. The extent of which I think- it Was a full-time job. We asked them to do is now manifesting itself. So we're gonna show you what it looks like when you're gone for two weeks. <laughs> we had a particularly big delivery that makes this we look did. a little more dramatic than it We did. We ordered a new couch from All Form, which we're excited to actually set up and show you guys next week. So check this out. Here we go. <laughs> Holy moly! Look at it, it fills up our whole room! <laughs> So we've got some setting up to do, clearly. Some unpacking, not only of our luggage, but apparently the stuff that has been delivered to our home here. As the big reveal next is the hot tub. So a neighbor asked, hey, can I use your hot tub while you're gone? I said, absolutely, of course you can. I said, but fair warning, we've been gone and hot tubs have a tendency to become quite gross. And he said, yeah, dude, it's kind of gross. So that was a week ago. It's now been another week. I'm actually really terrified to open this thing up. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gross. We definitely need to clean this out. Who wants to jump in first? <laughs> Undoubtedly gonna have to drain the hot tub and put new water in it because there is no way with chemicals that's gonna clean itself. But we're back. We're grateful to be back. We had an incredible trip, incredible vacation. Now it's off to unpacking, getting things settled in our home. Back a little bit to real life. So let's get to work. Guys, we are home and we are- Still awake. Still awake, yeah. That two hour time actually difference didn't affect us that much, but I cannot say, we cannot say how grateful we are for the memories we had over the last couple weeks and just how much fun we had spending the last 17 days together, two of which were somewhat unplanned. <laughs> but just seriously, such an amazing experience building those relationships with the kids, building relationships with each other and just enjoying family time. It's literally our favorite thing to do. Family vacations are truly like what we live for. You know, those are the memories that everybody will remember. Sometimes it's the day to day, but that's the time where we set aside to go and make memories together. So yeah, the memories for me, for me, it's all about the memories, right? And that's one of the reasons we love YouTube is because we can go back in time and remember these moments when Ava was six, Landon was 11, Turn was 14, or even go back even farther and see how they acted on vacation, how they tickled each other, how they played. And so <laughs> having this video journal on online, both on YouTube and Instagram, is really one of the motivations we have in sharing this, not just with you guys, but really it's sharing it with ourselves too over the years. And so it makes it all the more special when we can, you know, canonize it, if I can use that term, on the internet and have just such wonderful memories to look back on. We also love sharing these trips with you guys. Thanks for coming along with us. Thanks for being part of our family. Thanks for all the tips that you guys send us. Thanks for all the comments. You guys are the best. This was so fun and we loved sharing it with you guys. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed an amazing spring break. You guys are awesome. Back to reality. We built some new friends over the last couple weeks. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, share the channel with some friends. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. See you later.